The Yamaha Sidewinder LTX LE survived the cut and made it into the 2019 model year lineup for Yamaha, but this machine is a spring power surge model only, so its availability is a little bit limited. Now, some might think with sleds like the SRX in the lineup, there's really not much point in having the LTX around at all. And you could think that, but you'd be wrong. I would consider the SRX more of a niche sled for the go fast guy that's really not interested in doing much else than going fast, which the SRX does really, really, really well. The LTX on the other hand is still blisteringly fast, but it's a little bit more well-rounded. Not much has changed for 2019 over 2018. For 19, the list starts with shocks that have been upgraded from manually adjustable to electrically adjustable IQS shocks that are triggered from the new stealth controls on the handlebars. And there was one other thing that uh, was new, what was it now? Oh yeah, new graphics. But not just any old graphics, because these are bold new graphics. After living with a 50th anniversary version of this sled in last year's production of STV, I can honestly tell you that for big trail rides, the Sidewinder provided epic experience on each and every one of them. And this new winder does exactly the same thing, just a bit better because of the bold new graphics. This sled will challenge your skills as a rider and tempt you to push beyond your capabilities if you let it but it can also be a docile, well-mannered ride when the pace falls off. And although it can easily be a friendly sled to tour the trails with, the monster is just a flip of the thumb away. I can't even begin to tell you enough how enjoyable this sled is to ride. I mean, I constantly find myself smiling, even giggling as this thing is pulling at your arms as you're accelerating out of a corner. And then at night, after you've been hustling for a little while, this thing will start belching flames out the exhaust. I mean, how good is that? And the graphics, I mean, have I mentioned the graphics? Oh, 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 they are bold. There is a small sacrifice that's really only become apparent since the debut of the SRX and that's the feel of a bit too much understeer. The SRX's grip is slightly better balanced front and back with its short lug track, where the XTX in its 1.6 inch Campsol Cobra hooks up much better, but it does tend to push the front end around a bit, and the new graphics don't help at all with cornering, but at least they're bold. One commonality shared between the SRX and the LTX is the Fox Intelligent Quick Shift, or IQS shocks. I couldn't think of a better adjustable shock system than last year's manually adjustable units. And now, with them being electrically switchable on the fly from the handlebars, Fox has just made them better, just like the graphics. Switching between the three positions can really be felt by any rider to improve their experience, even riders who don't typically geek out on their suspension setups. Shocks with 20 clicks of adjustability I feel are beyond most riders' ability to correctly tune, and if you don't pay attention, they can easily be misadjusted, completely throwing off your ride experience like bad graphics would. The simplicity of the IQS solves these issues, keeping you in the sweet spot for shock tuning. And this badge sure goes well with the new graphics. There's no question that this is a sled at the top of the Snowmo World food chain when it comes to power and its pricing. But from a rider's perspective, I feel a sled of this caliber is missing a few things. For starters, other sleds in this class have toolless adjustable handlebar adjustment and roost guards to protect your hands from wind blast and, well, roost. Then on the display, the available information is helpful, coolant temperature, boost pressures, bold new graphics, things like that. But how about a data logging feature or even more options like air fuel ratios? When you drop the kind of coin it takes to bring this sled home, I think you'd want all the bells and whistles. Chartreuse hand guards would look great, I think. Speaking of chartreuse, have you seen the new graphics? They sure are bold. Now, you wouldn't think that Yamaha Blue and chartreuse would be two colors that would go so well together on the snow, but they certainly grow on you. And in case you're wondering, 
Or if you ever forget what you're riding, there are 20 logo reminders that say Sidewinder and 14 turbos embedded in the graphics. The 2019 Yamaha Sidewinder LTX LE is high-end and not for everyone. I know haters are gonna hate, but if you're the type of rider who wants the reliability of Yamaha's engines, along with the power of turbocharging, plus a chassis that holds everything together with style and performance, this could be your machine. And did I mention the new graphics? Because they're new and certainly bull.